What is an educated Filipino by Francisco Benitez? What is an educated Filipino and what qualities should distinguish him today? The conception of education and of what an educated man is varied in response to the fundamental changes in the details and aims of society. In our country and during this transition stage in our national life, what are the qualities which an educated man should possess? Alterations in our social life. Great changes have taken place in the nature of our social life during the last 40 years. The contact with Americans and their civilizations have modified many of our own social customs, traditions, and practices, some for the worse and many for the better. The means of communication have improved and therefore better understanding exists among the different sections of our country. Religious freedom has developed religious tolerance in our people. The growth of public school and the establishment of democratic institutions have developed our national consciousness both in strength and solidarity. Education has changed in meaning. With this growth in national consciousness and national spirit among our people, we witness the corresponding rise of a new conception of education, the training of individual for the duties and privileges of citizenship, not only for his own happiness and efficiency, but for one, practical activity. In the light of social changes, we come again to the question, what qualities should distinguish the educated Filipino of the The power to do embraces the ability to produce enough to support oneself and to contribute to the economic development of the Philippines. Undoubtedly, a man may be, and often is, an efficient producer to the economic goods, and at the same time, he may not be educated. But should we consider a man who is utterly unable to support himself and is an economic burden to the society in which he lives as educated merely because he possesses the superficial graces of culture. I hope that no one will understand me as saying that. The only sign of economic efficiency is the ability to produce material goods. For useful social participation may take the form of any of, any of the valuable services rendered to society through such in institution as the home, the school, the church, and the government. The mother, for example, who prepares wholesome meat, takes good care of her children and trains them in moral and right conduct at home, renders efficient service in the country as well as the statesman or the captain of industry. I would not make pa the power to do the final and only test of the educated Filipino. But I believe that in the present situations, it is fundamental and great. Number two, acquaintance with native history and culture. The educated Filipino, in the second place, should be distinguished not only by his knowledge of the past and the current events. Number three, refinement in speech and conduct. The educated Filipino, in the third place, must have ingrained in his speech and conduct. There are, then, at least three characteristics which I believe to be the evidence of the educated Filipino. The power to do, to support himself and contribute to the wealth of our people, acquaintance with the world's progress, especially with that of his race, people, and community, together with love of our best ideals, traditions, and refinement.